Hello everybody, James Halifax, the Psychedelic Investor here. On today's Psych Business Roundup, we're looking at some recent developments for Cybin and Numinous. Starting with Cybin, which is of course ticker symbol CYBN on the New York Stock Exchange, Cybin has recently received a green light from the FDA to begin a phase 2 trial to treat frontline clinicians experiencing COVID-related distress. This study, which is co-sponsored with the University of Washington, aims to treat symptoms of depression, anxiety, burnout, and post-traumatic stress among 30 frontline doctors, nurses, and healthcare professionals. It will be double-blinded and placebo-controlled, and use protocols developed by Cybin's Psychedelic Therapy Clinician Training Program, Embark. The primary endpoint will be four weeks after the dose session, and then we will compare the depression, anxiety, burnout, and PTSD levels of those in the psilocybin group as compared to the control group. This is important for two reasons. First, if the trial is successful, we can scale the treatment to more frontline healthcare workers, perhaps after a phase three trial. Unfortunately, the pandemic has taken its mental health toll on our frontline medical workers. For example, one recent study showed that among American healthcare workers, 38% reported anxiety and depression, 43% reported work overload, and 49% had burnout during the pandemic. Our healthcare workers have been heroes over the past couple of years, so anything that can ease their burden is important. Second, as CEO of Cybin, Doug Drysdale says, Cybin can use this trial to gain insights on how to run future trials specifically with their lead drug candidate, CYB003, a modified version of psilocybin. I recently interviewed Doug Drysdale where we went deep on CYB003. We discussed what makes psilocybin so special as a mental health care drug, but also what the three main problems with using it in a clinical setting are, and how CYB003, if proven to be effective, could counteract these problems. If you want to watch this video, click on the link you see on your screen now. We will also link it at the end of this episode. Next up, we're looking at Numinous Wellness, ticker symbol Numi F on the OTC, and Numi on the TSXV. Recently, Numinous announced a new novel proprietary method for psychedelic mushroom compound screening. This will allow Numi to measure the amount of therapeutic compounds like psilocybin and psilocin that are in their mushrooms, as well as screen for any potential contaminants and residues. This is important for Numinous for two reasons. First, Numi, unlike many other companies, uses naturally grown psilocybin mushrooms as compared to synthetically created psilocybin. While they maintain this will ultimately be cheaper to produce and better for the patients, it does mean that they need to be able to accurately measure the many different compounds within their mushrooms. Today's news goes a long way towards this goal and will also help them in conversations with regulators. Second. Numinous earns much of its revenue from selling its lab services to third parties. This will add another service the company can offer to those working with mushrooms. One last note for Numinous, the company announced that they have been given approval to uplist their stock in Canada from the TSX Venture Capital Exchange to the TSX proper, though we don't yet have a date for this graduation. CEO of the company, Peyton Nyquist, had this to say. This is an important milestone for Numinous as we take key steps to heighten our corporate profile and reach a broader range of investors. I actually had the chance to interview Peyton recently, so if you want to check that interview out, click on the link you see on your screen now, and we'll also go ahead and link that at the end of this episode. If you enjoyed this episode but are hungry for more information, there are a couple things you can do. First, do all the algorithm stuff. This will ensure that YouTube shows you future videos. Second, you can check out some of our other videos on the channel, such as the fantastic interviews with the CEOs of Cybin and Numinous. And finally, you can check out psychedelicspotlight.com. They have the best coverage of the psychedelic space, regardless of whether you want culture news, scientific updates, or business knowledge. And while you're there, sign up for the newsletter so that you can get all the information that you need to know directly to your inbox. I'll see you next time, Psychedelic Spotlight.